Hello everyone, am I recording? I don't know. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Alright, so I'm just cleaning up the mess that I just made. Um, so I will be doing my Man Crush Monday thing. I apologize, I forgot to do it. Sorry. Um, so, as I'm cleaning up, I'll tell you about my Man Crush. Alright, so recently I've had some, uh, how do I say... I've been having some, like drama go on in my life that, you know, you just don't want to deal with when you're a high schooler. Um, now there's this, like, boy, um, and he's kind of a, like, jerk, and, you know, he's kind of like a douche wagon and all, uh, and I don't, like, a whole bunch of girls like him or whatever, and I actually used to have a crush on him, and then, you know, I just stopped, because I was like, you know, it's not even worth my time anymore, so I stopped. Um, and then, you know, recently, uh, we've, like, been talking, like, texting on the phone, and, um, he's one of those guys that, like, ask for pictures or something, I don't know, um, but it was like really annoying to me because you know I'm self-conscious about myself so I don't even feel comfortable I apologize for the bad lighting um, I don't really feel comfortable you know looking at pictures of myself because you know I've had like some like rough times where I've like felt like a really big girl and I don't really feel comfortable with my own body so um you know I don't feel comfortable with even sending my parents or my friends pictures of my face um but, you know, recently I've been getting, like, more comfortable with myself and, you know, like, staying away from the whole dating because I don't, like, I want to focus on my studies and I don't want to, like, be a whole part of the whole, like, drama in that. Well, so this guy has been, like, asking me for pictures, um, and, you know, I didn't really appreciate it and so I, like, I told him, you know, back off, dude, I don't want to send you pictures, not even of my face, so just stop. And, you know, he, he was, we, then he, like, stopped, like, talking to me. He was talking to my other friend, asking her as well. And then he started talking to me again and um recently and I was pretty much just like I was done with it. I I didn't want to deal with the whole crap anymore. So um I decided to, you know, just stop talking sometimes. And, um, then, like, he started asking me again for pictures, and I was just sick and tired of it. So then, like, I asked him why he wanted pictures of me. He said, you know, you're attractive, and you're funny. And I'm like, so you like me, or do you just, you just want to, like, fool me into sending you pictures so you can show all your guys, all your guy friends? And he's like, no, I, I like, you're attractive. I like you. And I'm like, oh, okay, still not going to send you a picture. So, girls, you know, if anyone, even if you like them... Like, if they ask you for a picture, don't send them it. Like, either send them, like, one of these faces, like, like, one of those faces, like, just the face, or, like, go online, get some, like, really ugly pictures of some girls, and be like, hey, this is me last night, send. You know, just, like, get some, like, really ugly pictures of, like, random people off the internet, and they'll leave you alone. And if he doesn't, then do what I did and, like, tell someone. Um, now, I didn't really tell anyone about the whole problem that was going on about, like, him, like, telling me to send him pictures. Um, I, I ended up just giving my, um, I ended up telling my um, parents eventually. Um, but, you know, it, I should have told them sooner because, you know, it wasn't such a problem, but now it is. Um, so, my, I told my parents just like a couple of nights ago or whatever and like they've been like tracking the messages um to make sure like nothing happens anymore and like just a couple of nights ago um they were like texting him off my phone and like they wanted to call him and like my dad was like gonna call him and be like hey this is blah blah's dad and you know i thought that was funny um so um so he didn't like they didn't like continue the conversation they just like turned my phone off and you know told me to go to bed and then I found out this morning from my mom that my mom had called my brother and my brother had to talk to someone who goes to my school 
and um, this someone had talked to that person who was te telling, who was texting me, and um, he was like, "Back off! Don't even go near her. Go, don't touch her. Don't text her. Don't talk to her anymore." So then, like, um, this guy who was texting me apologized, and he said he wasn't going to. And you know, I'm like, the next time he does text me, I'm gonna tell my parents because you know, I I'm just sick and tired of people. Like seriously, I you know, I told a lot of people I don't want a relationship. I've also told a lot of people that I'm very self conscious with myself and I don't want to send pictures. And you know, I I I don't even send like my parents or anyone pictures of my face. So you know, um, so you know, um. The person for my man crush Monday is not the guy who's texting me. No, it's the person who stood up for me. Um, you know, my parents were there too, and like my dad is definitely my man crush. But um, it's actually the person who actually like told him off, and that would be Dylan. He was like in, he was like giving comments in like my last last video um, with my grandma. He was the one who guessed my birthday time the closest I don't know but um you know he's kind of like my man crush because like you know we're um we're not like really like best friends but you know we get along okay and you know he's pretty nice and you know he stood up for me and if you have a friend that stands up for you you know like be even closer friends to them because you know if someone stands up for you even if you don't ask them to you know like they're worth like keeping as friends but if you have a friend that like asks you for like pictures like nudes or something back tell them to back off and if they don't back off you know go to an adult and say that they, this person is sexually harassing me because if someone is talking sexually or dirty to you or you know sexist to you or something like that they're talking that way is sexual harassment but if they start touching you that's molestation and you know you definitely have to report that um now I understand if like it's your boyfriend or whatever, if, if if it's your boyfriend or whatever your husband, but still that doesn't make it right because eventually what if you guys you know break up or get divorced and he still has those pictures saved? He can send those to every single one at at your school. He can post those on the internet and you know it could ruin your future job. So guys, please do not even think about sending nude pictures. Don't say anything inappropriate because you know it may come back to haunt you. So, um, you know, so I'm Undecided Lover Baker, um, if you want to go check out the rest of my videos, um, you know, just click on my name down below, um, I love you guys so much, um, so go, I, I don't know, um, I just made a video, hence this blender thing right here, um, it, I'll put that in the link down below, I guess, I don't know, I don't know how to do this, but, um, Alright, peace out, suckers. I love you so much. Please be careful with what you say and what you send. Always look before you press the send button because you never know. Like, you need to say, you need to tell yourself, would I send this to my grandmother? Or would I send this to my mother or my father or, like, my little cousin or something? Like, send, like, pick the most innocent person or the person that you care about the most and ask yourself, do I want to, do I want this person to find out about it? Or, do I want my future boss to find out about it? So think about that stuff before you send. Look before you send. And also, don't text and drive. Don't even text and walk, because texting and walking leads to texting and driving. Alright, so I'm glad that I talked to you guys. Um, uh, so, my Women Crush Wednesday, which is today, um, she was made very hard. I'll go put her down in the descriptions below. She's also, I mentioned her in my other video which I'll put somewhere here or down there, um, yeah, so, you know, go give a shout out to Dylan, you know, in my comments or whatever, I don't know, but, uh, I love you guys so much, peace out, suckas, bye, <laughs> bye, peace out, suckas, bye, I love you.